Chapter 3, Section 2 Review, question number 14 in the end of 3.2. A youth group with 26 members going skiing. Each of the five chaperones will drive a van or a sedan. The vans can seat seven people and the sedans can seat five people. How many of each type of vehicle could transport all 31 people to the ski area on one trip? Well, we know we can have sedans or vans, but we don't know how many of each, but we know we have five drivers. We also know seven, well, five people fit in each sedan and seven people fit in each van, and we have a total of 31. So we have two equations right now and two variables. We could do it a few different ways. Okay, we could just substitute or we could try to eliminate. So if we're going to, let's just eliminate, multiply the top equation by negative 5. So that's going to get negative 5 times s would be negative 5s. Negative 5 times v would be negative 5v. And negative 5 times 5 would be negative 25. We're just going to move the second equation over and just match it up. 5s plus 7v equals 31. Now we just add these together. The s's are going to cancel, 5s and negative 5s. Okay, negative 5v plus 7v is 2v. Negative 25 plus 31 is 6, so that's 6. So v equals 3. So we need to take three vans, okay? <clears throat> so if we're going to take three vans, we have an equation right here that tells how many sedans to take. So... I have S plus V equals 5. S plus 3, we're just going to sub it in, equals 5. Subtract 3 to each side, S equals 2. So we know we need two sedans and three vans. Okay, next question. Solve each system. 5X plus Y equals 0. 5x plus 2y equals 30. Okay, we're just going to subtract these two equations. So we're going to make the top one negative. So they're going to cancel. So negative y plus 2y is y. All right. And 30 minus 0 is 30. So if y equals 30, we can go back to the original equation. 5x plus y equals 0. So 5x plus 30 equals 0. So 5x equals negative 30. Divide each side by 5. So x is going to be negative 6. So my ordered pair is x comma y, which would be negative 6 comma 30. And you can plug those back in to double check to make sure it works. <clears throat> All right, 53. Solve each equation. Okay, it's set up, so we're just going to add these equations as is. So negative x plus 3x is 2x. The y's cancel. 4 plus 6 is 10. So I've got 2x equals 10. Divide each side by 2. We get x is equal to 5. Okay, I'm going to plug it back into the first equation. So I get negative 5, or negative x, plus y equals 4. So add 5 to each side. <clears throat> and we get y equals 9. Okay, so my ordered pair is x comma y, so it would be 5 comma 9. Okay, moving on, next equation. <clears throat> A theater production costs $40,000 plus $2,800 per, per performance. A sold-out performance brings in $3,675. How many sold-out performances will the production need to break even? Well, the cost of this thing is $40,000 plus $2,800 per performance. Our income, assuming a sold-out, is $3,675 per performance. So to break even... We just need to make our income equal our costs. So that would be 3675P equals 40000 
plus 2800p. <clears throat> so now we're just going to solve for how many, p, uh, how many performances we have. So we subtract 2800 each side to get p isolated. And we're going to get 875 times p equals 40,000. We're going to divide each by 875. <clears throat> so 40,000 divided by 875 equals. forty five point seven which we'd have to say at least forty six all right 